Hey guys, today we are going to go over measurement and the part of measurement we're gonna go over today is area. Um, a lot of times when I hear the word area, my first thought is an area rug, which is a giant carpet or rug that takes up a part of the floor. Um, area, if you wanna think of the word area, if you were a bird and you were looking down at your house, um, Area is the amount of space your house takes up on the ground. So today, as we're looking at area, I want you to know we're gonna go over the amount of square units inside of a flat figure. Um, you, can, you can determine the area of a 3D figure if you're looking at its faces, but area is on flat surfaces because if you're determining the amount of space a cube takes up, that's volume. So remember, area is only on flat figures, okay? Um, what things you need to know when we're going over area are square units, um, ways to solve. You can count, which we'll start by counting, but eventually you're going to have to multiply it. And then something we're going to go over today in area is called composites, which is a new word for you. Um, so composite figures are figures that don't look normal, but they exist. Um, and we'll go over that in just a bit. So to determine area, um, the simplest way to do it is by counting the squares that are given to you in a figure. So when I look at this re yellow rectangle, right now it doesn't have any um, squares inside of it. But when I lift this, I've already colored the squares it took up, the amount of space it took up. Okay, And the simplest way to determine the area of this would be counting these squares. So let's just start by counting. Um, as I count, I'm going to mark them out so that I don't double count anything. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the top row has six. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. The next row had another six, which gives me 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, another six. And then my final sixth one, um, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So in all, this figure is 24 square units. Um, if you don't put the word square and you're just putting units, then it is unknown what you're determining. As soon as you put the word square, then we know you're finding the area. So the word square is very, very necessary. So it is simple to find the area of this figure whenever you are uh, counting squares. But if you did not have these squares to count, and I told you that the top row was six squares, Square, or I'm sorry, six units. It would just be units. Six units. And the going this way up and down is four units. Then a way you would determine that is by multiplying because you have six, 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 six. You have six four times. And six times four equals 24. But remember, since we're talking about area, you must write 24 square units. This might look very familiar to you from multiplication because it looks just like an array. So it's how many are in each row. So in each row, you have six units and there's four rows in all. So six times four is 24. So let's try the area of this figure without any square units. So I let's just say this was three uh, inches. And let's say this is seven inches. So that means I have three, 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 three seven times, okay? So if I have three, seven times, I'm repeatedly adding three. And that means three times seven, which equals 21. But to show that I'm finding the area, I must include square inches. So area looks a lot like an array super 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 close how much space is it taking up okay so when you look at your state assessment um sometimes the area questions are given to you like this where all you really could do if you wanted to was continue drawing your squares out and then counting them up which is the simplest way to do it but sometimes they give it to you just like this um just look at this top one right here it's just a word problem there's no picture Nothing, there's nothing there to help you. And when there's nothing there to help you, you will have to do it this way. So let me, I'm gonna read this problem to you and we're gonna solve it without using squares. Now remember, squares is an array. 
So if you can draw the numbers for the array, you'll be able to multiply it, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna try to show this to you and read it to you, okay? Okay, Dante counted the square tiles on a rectangular floor uh, at his school. Each tile had an area of one square foot. On the floor, there were nine rows of tiles and 36 tiles in each row. What is the area of the floor in square feet? Okay, so at his gym, there are nine rows of tiles, just like this. Here's a row, here's a row, here's a row. There are nine rows of tiles at his school. So this row has nine, this, I'm sorry, here's a row that has 36. It doesn't have nine, it's 36. Here's a row, it has 36. Here's a row, it has 36. Let me see how many I have. I have one, two, three, four rows, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And all of them have 36 square tiles. Um, and each, each tile is a foot long. So if this is the whole gym floor and it's got all these rows and there's 36 in each one, what does that mean? There's 36, 36, 36, 36, 36. So how many square tiles will I need to fill up this gym floor? Okay, I'm repeatedly adding 36. So repeated addition, repeated addition is multiplication, right? So I'm repeatedly adding 36 nine times, yes? So I'm gonna break this off. I'm gonna decompose this into 30 and six. So now I've got 30 and six nine times, okay? Six times nine is 54. 30 times, I'm sorry, if I just wanna make this simpler, three times nine is 27 and they're all 10, so it's 270. And then I add my partial products. So, let me see if you can see that, yeah. So 270 plus 54 is 324. But don't forget, I was finding the area and I was using feet. So it's 324 square feet, okay? Which is letter C. Yay, we got it. Awesome, so area, Simply starting, it's gonna look like this, where you're counting the squares, but remember that's just an array because this is six, 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 and six four times is 24. And when it gets a lot harder and you don't have a picture, if you can just draw that gym floor and know that it's 36 and nine, you can multiply it, okay? Okay, so quickly, let's go over composite figures. It's a weird word, it's a new word. Um, but it's gonna be, it's a lot simpler than you think. Okay, so let's just look, I'm gonna take away this one. That way um, we don't get too confused, okay? So sometimes if you're a bird and you're flying over a house, it's, it's usually not a perfect square or rectangle. In fact, it's usually a bunch of, looks like squares and rectangles put together like a puzzle. So I created this composite figure, which means it, I can slice it into other figures to determine the area. Um, there are a couple of ways you can slice this. I'm gonna take a ribbon and show you how you could slice it if you wanted to, to make it easier to look at. I think our brains like seeing squares and rectangles because determining the measurements for those things are a lot simpler. Um, so one way you could chop this is go this way. So if I go this way, I've now given myself a little rectangle and kind of like this fat rectangle down here. If I found the area of this and I found the area of this, I could put them together to find the overall area. Or if I don't want to chop it this way, I can chop it this way. I'm trying to get my big hand out of the way. I can chop it this way. So now I've given myself a tall rectangle and kind of like this short stubby one over here. So if I determine the area of the tall one and then determine the area of the smaller one, I could put them together to get the overall area. So what I'm gonna do for today's is I'm actually going to chop the top off and determine the area. Now, when you are given composite figures right now, you will be given a grid. Just like that. Oh, they kind of look alike. Huh. 
So it is a lot easier for now because um, they, the drawing will be given to you. So you could easily just finish drawing that out if you wanted to. Um, so to determine the area of this one, I've already chopped it this way in color behind it. See that? One more time. I made this pink and this one purple. So really what I've done is I've chopped it this way. You see? Now, um, the area of this one is two because I can see it's going one, two, I'm sorry, not the area. The length of the top line is two because it's taking up two squares right here. So from here to here is two. And from here to here to here to, to block off the rest of this part is three, so it's one, two, three. So this is two, three times. So two, three times is six, because you know your multiplication facts. And then down here, I have for this, because I'm already done with this, I'm done using this. So for here, I have um, one, two, three, four, five. So my top line is five. And then I have one, two, three, four. My bottom line is, or my side line is four. So if I have five, four times, what do I have? I have 20. And when I put these together, because I'm actually in my mind, I broke them apart to make it easier. But if I erase this, they're actually back together, right? So if I put them together, because this was six and this was 20, I will have 26, but don't forget we're talking about area, so that's going to be square um, units for now. And just to show you um, that we're correct, I went ahead and I colored it. So this is this one, and this blue one is right here, so let's check it. So I have two, three times. I have two, 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 that's six. And then I have five, four times, five, 10, 15, 20. And when I put these together, I get 26 square units. Um, don't feel like you have to master composite figures. They are great to know. But the thing I want you to understand the most is um, this one. Just a simple array, simple area. Um, you will be using this later. But don't let this one scare you, okay? It's actually a lot easier than you think. Once you're good at these, these are going to be a lot easier. Um, I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, just leave a comment at the bottom and I'll do everything I can to respond and help you guys. See ya.